is a very special day. I just walked up on this pond where Leo caught his first blue tilapia. I'm here to catch mosquito fish. I'll get into that later. I'm seeing a school fish and I don't know what they are, so I just gotta get to this really quickly and then I'll talk to you guys. Enjoy the video. There's just this tiny school of fish. I don't see them anymore. I guess it's the ones I spooked. I gotta get on them. I don't know what they are, if they're baby tilapia. What the heck they are. Right now I have my Tanago on my ultralight with a weight on it. So what I think I'm gonna do is take this little split shot off. I'm gonna put on a little strike indicator for fly fishing just to help keep my stuff buoyant because these fish are right on the top. And I think I have about a six inches of pre-snelled line for my Tanago leader past my loop knot. I'm all rigged up. See where these guys are at, they're kind of out in the middle there. I'm just gonna practice throwing this until I can get a good shot on them because this is working perfectly. It's suspended long enough for anything on top to just come up and grab it because of this strike indicator. And it also adds just a little bit of weight. Okay, they're coming back around. I'm gonna try to set up my bait. Get down here. What is that? Okay, they're heading for it. I got him. First fish of the day. A tiny blue tilapia. Cool. That up close. Got that hook back. I think. I think I'm gonna save this guy's bait. Okay, so now I can talk about the goal of today. I'm doing a live baiting video, but I plan on using mosquito fish as bait. All right. Put a little water in here. Little blue tilapia. Back in the water. Okay. Let's move on. First fish of the day. A blue tilapia. Oreochromus orus. Walking up on the pond at Eagle's Nest. Just gonna try to ro load up on mosquito fish as fast as I can. Got one. Tiny, tiny mosquito fish. Wow. That's perfect bait size for what I'm looking for. A little water in there. Throw them in there. I want to put it in the water because these fish are so small that they can swim out of those holes. Another one. Well, yeah, this is the second species of the day. Eastern mosquito fish. Gambusia holbrooki. These fish can survive in anything. On to the lake. I have to find a dollar. I think in order to catch this dollar, I'm gonna have to do some craziness. I could tie on my size 22 hook, but I don't feel like taking off my Tenago. So I'm going to try to catch the dollar sunfish with my Tenago hook. It's going to help keep the fish alive too. Take my strike indicator off here. Here we go. Got him. Cool. Awesome. Look at that. A black acara and a live mosquito fish. First fish of the day on a live mosquito fish. Third fish of the day, a total of black acara. There you go, there you go, there you go. Yes! Yes! What? It's a little baby largemouth. That's so cool. This is the fourth species of the day. Nailed them. Little baby largemouth for a fish tank. I don't know where he went, but he's gone. Cool. 
Second species of the day on the mosquito fish. Let's keep it going. Come on, dollar sunfish. What the heck? Another black acara. This hook's really working very well for these fish. Second black acara of the day on the live mosquito fish. Wah! So yeah, I got caught in the rain. Of course. Well guys, I've been having a lot of stuff going on. I've been working a lot. It just hasn't been working out when I do get out. I got all this new gear. I've tried out my new pole. Haven't been catching anything, so I was gonna save this video and try to expand on it, but I'm gonna go ahead and release it because I don't have any other content and I hope you guys enjoy. I got a bunch of new stuff, man. Tripods, my GoPro. I have so much good stuff and I'm getting ready to hopefully make a lot better video. So I know my content has been struggling as far as quality, but hopefully that'll change. Stay tuned for more. Thank you.